Hello, I'm Andrew Marvell. I'm the Chief Executive of the Marine Point Archaeological Trust. We're here in Neath on, the, on a very cold 8th of November afternoon and we're having a look at uh, little bits of the Roman fort, um, uh, the parts that were excavated previously um, uh, from when the fort was first discovered uh, right up to the present excavations today. And the first site we're going to have a look at are parts of the South East Gateway which were discovered in 1949 when um, uh, this housing estate that um, uh, we're standing by uh, was built shortly after the Second World War. And during, those, uh, during the, ex the construction uh, of that housing estate, some Roman remains were discovered and the National Museum of Wales were called in to have a look. And the then um, uh, senior archaeologist there, uh, Victor Nash Williams, uh, conducted a series of trial excavations uh, during which parts of two Roman gateways were um, discovered. Uh, and the one that uh, you're shortly going to see uh, was um, uh, preserved and is protected as a scheduled ancient monument. As you can see, the gateway has um, two square uh, towers, uh, one with a, a, a side door, only the foundations survive. Uh, it does need a little bit of maintenance at the moment uh, to improve its visibility. Uh, but there would have been two arches and the support for the two arches, the spina, it can be seen as the single um, uh, row of stones in between the two, scare, two, two square uh, gate uh, chambers. Uh, and as we pan around in front of the um, gate, we see part of the uh, part of the berm uh, where the uh, in front of the gate, uh, and then the surviving remains of uh, the ditch that would have run around um, uh, uh, the fort. Uh, the fort would have been reconstructed, uh, the fort defences were reconstructed in stone uh, sometime in the early 2nd uh, century. Uh, we're not sure uh, precisely when, but uh, either during the reign of the Emperor Trajan or his successor Hadrian.